Greetings, Gemini Sun, Gemini Rising, and Gemini Moon. Welcome to your video for October 2023 from Ama Light Worker. This will be an Akashic reading followed by a few tarot cards. Please listen for your rising sign and moon sign as well because it will provide you with additional information. And for those of you who would like to know more, I have done a whole new reading for your sign and for each sign of the zodiac available for download and purchase through vimeo.com through the vimeo link posted down here below in the show more description box. If you like to purchase a, a, a service from me to book a consultation with me, please email me at amalightworker at gmail.com and please visit my website www.amalightworker.com. With that being said, Gemini, now let's focus on this uh, reading for you for October 2023 and please remember to like, share and subscribe. Many of you will go through life-changing events. How you feel at the beginning of October is going to be completely different how you feel toward the end of October. Your emotional life will shift, change, and transform multiple times. You're going to feel that your soul is elated. You are elevating yourself okay to a better emotional dimension for you you are elevating yourself to a better social standing status you are just elevating yourself with everything that you are doing saying and with everything that is happening to you you are about to receive many accolades for a job well done you are about to receive many uh, congratulatory words about your appearance, about your transformation. Your work won't go unnoticed. If you are a working Gemini, please understand that many people are checking your work out, are keeping an eye on you, are keeping an eye on your uh, progress. Somebody could be specifically, okay, um, taking notice of what you are doing because they may be thinking of putting your name up for a promotion or for a raise. You are going to feel at some point to our, uh, during the month that your package is full, full of responsibilities, your daily schedule is uh, full, maybe, you know, uh, you're chewing more than you can handle. So there's going to be a need for you to de-stress. What is causing you stress? And you may have to address the root source of your stress, whether you need to declutter or whether you need to get rid of it. Not only this applies to material wealth, physical stuff around the house that you maybe need to move or get rid of or clean or organize, but it also applies to emotionally. What are the emotions that you need to address, to balance them, to eliminate them, or to transform them to something uh, better? At a mental level, at a mental capacity, you may have to address some of your own dissatisfaction. What is causing this ease and this harmony in your mind? Do you need to declutter your mind? Do you need to address some of your old way of thinking because it no longer applies to your life uh, right now? Some of you are going to be dwelling on choices of love. Okay.